You might have heard the term in the news lately. Late last year, a judge ordered that pop star Britney Spears be freed of her conservatorship from her father. It's a legal process that has been used for the elderly and those mentally unwell enough to control their own finances. But as CBS 8's Tim Blodgett explains, the city of San Diego might start to use conservatorships to address chronic homelessness. Homelessness is one of the biggest issues of our times. Here in San Diego, thousands live on the street in abject poverty. Lawmakers have tried various solutions like more drug and mental health counseling and increasing the amount of funding for housing homeless populations. But one solution that has gained traction in California is the idea of conservatorship, a process where a chronically homeless individual would forcibly have their finances, treatment, and their daily needs taken care of by another individual or government official. This morning, City of San Diego Council members Dr. Jen Campbell and Marnie Von Wilpert outlined a new conservatorship program for the city. They're calling 911 just to get clothing and shelter or because they are risk at harming themselves or others. So these are folks who cannot be helped by cycling through our emergency rooms and actually need a court-ordered intervention to get back on their feet. In the plan, the council members are hoping to carve out a half a million dollars that would create three new positions in the city attorney's office. These positions would oversee the legal process and identify chronically homeless individuals from behavioral health centers, shelters, and emergency medical services. Councilwoman Campbell gave an example of a real-life case who they called Mr. AF. AF had over 500 emergency visits in just 12 months. San Diego Fire and Rescue once found him lying over the trolley tracks. Once these individuals were identified, they would be sent to court and face a judge. It will be a legal, open due process in which any individual who is referred for conservatorship by this new unit will have free legal representation. A judge would then place a public guardian to the individual who would then be able to legally intervene over that person's well-being, including being able to check them in for drug and medical treatment, finding shelter, food, and clothing. Right now, the proposal is among the budget requests for financial year 2023 and would be up to Mayor Todd Gloria to put it into action. While the city has put millions into fighting homelessness, the idea of expanding public conservatorship seems to be gaining traction. We need to take this issue get it together, get it fixed, and help these people so that they can become participating members of society once again. Tim Blodgett, CBS 8.